everyone, it's me, Stephanie Ann, and I have not uploaded to this channel in a while because I was sort of on a break. In the past year, I went through my first relationship and my first relationship ended. Not my choice at all, whatsoever. In fact, if I could still have it, I would. Unfortunately, I had to take that dark road of being left behind, I guess you could say. Now I've been really growing just as I was before the relationship. I just kind of went back to that single life thing and continue to be the strong person that I am. Unfortunately, it was more of a cold turkey sort of style. You know, he comes over, explains himself, and then disappears basically. And now I can't talk to him or see him. If I had my way, I would still talk to him and I would still care for him. That's just who I am and that's who I always will be. Besides that, I still fully believe in myself and I fully believe in all the accomplishments that I plan to make. So I am going to be vlogging for another year of my life, which I'm actually really excited about because this next year coming up, which I will start the vlogging on September 1st, of this year. This next year of my life is going to contain some things that I will actually address in my first video. I'm just going to kind of give a highlight right now while we wait. It's going to contain my last two semesters of college and the last time I recorded for a year it contained everything I did before going to school and then it included my first semester at school. And it'll also contain graduation, which is exciting. Another little, I wouldn't call it an announcement yet because I'm still planning right now. I had two options, actually three options. Uh, first of all, I tend to plan to the T. And because of that, uh, sometimes I have lots of ideas for what I want to do in the future. I tend to see it more clearly when it's a year away. So in May or any of the months beforehand, a year away was still my last semester at school. And now a year away from today is after graduation. So I'm already thinking after graduation now. I'm not always open about my ideas until they're really certain in me. Now I feel like the ideas are becoming certain. So now I'm to this point where I think, all right, I think that's what I'm going to do, you know. Some of my plans contain going to England again. Now, Originally, I was trying to plan on getting an internship in spring, looking really hard and trusting in God that the internship that I would get could potentially be a place that I could stay afterwards or continue interning at if it's paid so that I could live here in Southern California. But then I thought, okay, well, I want to get into fashion photography. So I started looking for internships in the fashion photography world. And that's where I came across an internship program that you pay them and then you get professional experience. So this way I don't really, ha I wouldn't have to base it on, oh I need the experience already, but more like, no, I want to get the experience no matter what, so I will pay you. And I thought, I'm willing to save up for that and accept donations, do photo shoots, all that sort of stuff. So then I chose New York. So my plans became, you know, next May after I graduate, I'd love to go to New York for a month and do an internship. You can choose how long you stay there, so I would have to return here to Southern California by June 24th because that is my roommate's wedding that I'm shooting. So there's a wedding I'm shooting in June, but there's also a wedding I'm shooting in August for my childhood best friend who is getting married on the East Coast near Washington DC. So she's gonna fly me out there, but I'm so excited because that's just, you know, exciting things already for next summer. Besides those two things and besides the idea of the New York internship, I knew that I would have to get myself situated in a job and situated here in Southern California. The reason why I don't want to leave Southern California is because of how attached I've become to my church, which is now a family to me. And the idea of leaving that just, I just can't do it. I also just really do, I do like it down here. I like uh, the difference because I'm from a small town and now being out here is like, it's just exciting either way. I'm not a fan of the traffic at times, but it's kind of funny because then everyone talks about it and then that's how you're a community and it works out in the end because you can complain about traffic together. Those are all my plans coming up for just what am I gonna do in the next year of my life. While thinking, it suddenly occurred to me that if I get a job, which I plan to get because I'm gonna need money, I won't be able to take a vacation for a long time. And so I asked myself, 
do you want to go out and explore before you get committed and settled down for a job? So then I thought, yes, I do want to go back to England. <laughs> so I contacted my friends right away and I said, hey, what do you think of the idea of me coming next year in May after I graduate? And two of my friends were like, you can come stay with me. One of them said I have a room free before July. And I was like, perfect, I wanna come in May and June. I got that kind of sorted out to think I definitely save up money for that because flights are actually a little cheaper in May. That's all the stuff that's on my plate now of excitement and whatnot. And trying to also just truly trust God and be happy and content with whatever comes my way. And I am human and there are lots of times that I miss my old relationship and also because that person was a friend in my life, you know, it, w it was someone that I knew for a significant amount of time. And to lose that is just not fun at all. At this point I realize that it's really up to God, you know, what uh, happens in my life and I just want to be able to show that I have strength because I do believe in myself and I do believe that I can do great things either way and I really want my story to be to others a story of hope, a story of love, a story of grace, and a story of commitment to who I am and the message I want to tell. So as a storyteller who is going to school for filmmaking and as a photographer and as a music composer, I like to tell that story through my art of believing in yourself. That is my huge massive update just to say that everything to come and I will probably highlight on what I really believe when I start my vlogging on this channel again. I won't know what it is and I know that I'm going to document every day again and I'm really excited for that because that's also a great way to get better at video editing. <laughs> and I'm excited to see what actually will happen and where I'll actually go and graduation will be a part of the year and friends I'll make along the way and experiences and working on set and a new internship in spring and maybe a side job and just anything really that I come up with and I'm really excited so with that being said you can enjoy my next video which will be probably me in the same area opening these new headphones you could win new headphones I'm just kidding I'm not giving these away I actually will explain that in the video. So if you're interested in opening boxes videos, which I tend to be, whenever I want the actual thing, I will look at unboxing sometimes just to see for fun. Well, I haven't done it actually. I used to do it, but still. Also, just to end this video with something random to say, I uploaded a new video, two new videos actually, to my photography channel. Here on YouTube, I have a thousand subscribers to that channel and I didn't know that. So now I'm trying to get back on that channel and upload some useful stuff, but I've yet to do another tutorial. So if you're interested in my photography or just photography in general or editing or behind the scenes or tutorials, those sort of things will be on that channel in which I will link down below. So you get on that if you're interested. But besides that, I hope everyone has a fantastic, what is today? I don't even, okay, it's Thursday. Enjoy the next video of me unboxing my new headphones. Okay, bye.